Hi everyone, welcome to SF Live. My name is Rebecca Taff and I'll be your host. My guests tonight are from PAWS, an organization that provides support to companion animals for low-income persons with HIV AIDS and senior citizens. Please welcome Daniel Marley, who is the Director of um, Volunteer Services, and Prado Gomez, who is a lead case manager there. Thank, Thank you guys for being here. Yeah, well, thanks for inviting us. Oh good, well it's been all rushed and crazy, so let's sit down and relax and tell me a little bit about PAWS. Well, PAWS was uh, founded about 21 years ago, so we're a legal drinking age now as an organization. Oh, good. Um, and uh, PAWS came to be when they recognized the need, some volunteers um, recognized the need for people who were HIV positive who were feeding their animals the food that they were getting at food bank and at um. other HIV organizations. So uh, they basically created an organization to help support them in keeping their companion animals so that they wouldn't have to sacrifice their own needs in order to do that and so that finances wouldn't be the reason that they had to be separated from these beings who were in many cases their sole support mm -hmm. sole companions and now we've grown to an organization of 300 plus volunteers and over 700 almost 800 uh, human clients and their over 900 animal companions mm -hmm. so was it started by um, like a parent organization or are you guys like an independent entity that was started by like one person who was gung-ho and yeah it was it more over? um a group of volunteers who were mm. at the san francisco aids foundation's food bank oh okay who uh, oh so they were from the food bank and that's what they realized oh, right I yeah see. when people would come in to get their yeah, own yeah, yeah. food they were finding out that the people were then giving the food to their animals yeah. And so, uh, yeah, we were founded, as he said, about 21, 22 years ago. Oh, good. So what kind of services do you guys provide? A range of services. Um, the two biggest services, or rather three, top three are, uh, we provide a veterinary fund, um, about $200 a year per human client that uh, helps pay for veterinary services. Well, that's so a pretty that's, good amount of money. Yeah, although, unfortunately, you know, Never, as prices yeah. increase, yeah. Yeah, vet bills can yeah. add up really quickly yeah. to thousands of dollars. So, and these are wow. low-income people who are yeah. living on an average of you know a thousand dollars a month or less. Um, so we that's one of the services that we provide. Uh, we have a food bank, our own food bank, which feeds um, or rather takes food and supplies such as cat litter, bowls, leashes, and collars and things like that to uh, roughly a hundred people every weekend. So about four hundred human Sorry. clients every mm -hmm. month. So some of those people come pick it up on site at the PAWS office once a week, or it's delivered to their home by volunteers if they can't come down themselves. And are they the, how do people sign up with you guys? Does someone just come in or call or go to the they website? Can, they'll call us, some people drop in. Um, we have criteria that people have to meet to be able to become a client. Um, and, and what are those criteria? Just in list. case people want sure, to. Sure, yeah. They have, to be, they have to be San Francisco residents. So we only serve the city and county of San Francisco um, just because you know, we have to set our There's a lot of people. Somewhere. There are a lot of people. In, <laughs> in San Francisco. Yeah, so. and there are other organizations outside of San Francisco who also provide similar services. Mm -hmm. um, so residents of City and County of San Francisco, they have to have an animal, companion animal already, um, or at least be in the process of getting one. We don't actually provide animals to people. Right. Uh, they have to be either living with HIV or AIDS, be over the age of 60 or over, mm -hmm. or other disabling illness, uh, and make 1850 a month or less in terms of income. Mm -hmm. So those are the criteria. Um, and if people meet those criteria, they can contact us and get on our waiting list, which can range anywhere from a month to a year, depending on uh, what their particular illness or, or categorization is. Oh, good. So we are talking with Paws. Pets are wonderful support. If you have any questions, the number's at the bottom of the screen. You can call in and ask um, about the wide range of services that you guys provide. And tell me about your upcoming events. I've actually, I'm secretly involved with you guys. I've done pet <laughs> pecatecture. I'm That's horrible right. at saying it. Pecatecture, um, yes. But I've done. I do dog paintings. This okay. is totally random tangent. But, uh, <laughs> so I've already known about you guys. So tell me a little bit about what it is. So um, our main event, uh, our biggest fundraising event of the year is called Pet Architecture. It's coming up on uh, Friday, April 24th. And uh, it'll be held at the Fairmont Hotel this year on uh, the top of Knob Hill. And so it's a really fun event. Uh, architects across the Bay Area and beyond mm -hmm. are building fancy, one-of-a-kind, dog houses and cat habitats and things like that and um, they're building them some 
specifically for uh, certain donors, or uh, some will be up for au auction. And uh, it's a, as I said, it's a really fun event. We also have, you know, a silent auction, live auction, entertainment on stage, and so forth. And I was there when he, wasn't Yoko Ono come? Didn't she come one year? Yoko Ono. Yeah. I don't know, maybe Amy Tan. But I, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you go to come and perform for everyone? No, um, yes, uh, yeah, that was. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just insane. Yes. Yeah, Amy Tan. Yeah, Amy Those are Tan. not the same people. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she came. That was the one I went to. Well, she's yeah. been to a few. Oh, really? Yeah, um, she's she comes a lot. She's a big possible. So, this is horrible. Um, <laughs> But at any rate, yeah, it's it's a it's a really fun event. Uh, it's usually about eight hundred people, but uh, because it's a pause event, uh, people bring their dogs with them. So yeah, yeah, it yeah. tends to be one hundred and fifty, two hundred dogs, you know, uh, having a good time as well. And we cater to both the people and the dogs. And how did that get started? How did you incorporate sort of the architecture and the pets? And why did you do that instead of just a basic fundraiser? Uh, it's a good question. The event's been around for about 14 years, so, yeah, that's it's, so long. Uh, it's long before either of us uh, were working there. How but, did you create it when you were a founding <laughs> member? Yeah, but I, I uh, you know, various uh, people in the architect community were um, interested in, in PAWS, and they held a, a much smaller event, mm -hmm. you know, 14 years ago, uh, and I think it was in the Neiman Marcus store at the time, mm. and uh it's since, you know, really grown to become one of uh, the largest parties in San Francisco. Oh, good. And do people have to sign up in advance? Are there tickets? How do, or can you just show up? Website. What happens? Go to the website. It's probably the easiest way. Give a call. Um, and definitely there's an opportunity to buy tickets in advance, buy tables in advance, so mm -hmm. that groups of people can come, sponsors. Yeah. Um, as well as depending on where we are in terms of capacity, mm -hmm. maybe they can buy a ticket at the door, but yeah. we'll see. Okay. Yeah. We would like to sell out ahead of time. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's also the case that, uh, if people do, uh, as he said, buy a table ahead of time, then they can have a, you know, reserve table for five people, 10 people, however many, mm -hmm. and, uh, that they would have that reserved ahead of time. Mm -hmm. right. People show up at the door, they may not have a reservation for, you know, a full table. So, right. but uh, as he said, the best way to do it is to go to our website, uh, which should be on the screen. Which is pause SF with two S's, pause SF. Right. Dot org. Um, so how do people, like, what do people do at the event? If people are interested and in how much are the tickets? Uh, the tickets, way? um, is there a start range at 150. Uh -huh. Um, although if people want to become, you know, table sponsors or, uh, such things then you know people there are various levels for ticket prices and uh and there are more privileges that go along with the higher levels of ticket prices and can people still be in the vendors or the silent auction or is that all sealed up already? oh yes we're still oh uh, you're still looking for people auction vendors as well what kind of vendors are you looking for only pet oriented or they can no do it's anything? a whole range of things uh you know, we get things like gift certificates from restaurants, gift certificates to spas, hotels, mm -hmm. uh, bottles of wine. Yeah. Uh, we've even got this year a uh, necktie autographed by Gavin Newsom. So, you oh, know, good. it's definitely... Anything from Yoko Ono? <laughs> <laughs> Not that I know of, but uh, if you have any connections well, Gavin with Yoko... <laughs> Gavin Newsom's good. Yeah, well, it's a start. He's a celebrity. Yeah, yeah. he is. Oh, good. And it, th I know that there's a live auction. What And those that stuff gets pretty it pricey. It does, yeah. yeah. Um, and so in addition to the, the <laughs> habitats that the architects are building, we have um, various other things that go in the live auction as well. Uh, there's a trip to France. Uh, yeah, there's some like, there. seriously insane good stuff. Oh, that yeah. you can bid on. Yeah, and uh, one of the the most popular um, things that we auction off is the is what we call the pet idols. Right. And if you see all of our oh, promotional yeah, material, yeah. you'll see that there's a dog and a cat on the front. And uh, to the highest bidder, you know your uh, lovely creature could be <laughs> lovely the, creature. Your lovely creature. Your <laughs> can it be an pet. iguana or anything, or does it have to be anything? I, don't see creature. why not. Okay, yeah. good. Just in, um, want to usually spread, <laughs> spread the love. For the reptile. We do, uh, <laughs> we auction them off one dog and one cat, and, um, and those tend to be, as I said, one of the more popular things, really? but it'd be for the opportunity to have your dog or cat featured on all the promotional material for Petcatecture in 2010. So it's a year, is it by year? Yeah, it's it is. They do it for the whole yeah. year? Yep. Wow. 
<laughs> what if it's not the cutest animal? Do you guys not care? <laughs> hey, cute is in the eye of the beholder. That's very right? true. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, if you talk to any one of the people who is uh, bidding on there, uh -huh. they will all tell you that their dogs and cats oh, yeah. are the cutest things That's in the right. world. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. Are you a pet owner? Oh, yeah. And is your pet the yes. cutest thing in the world? I knew it. Of course. <laughs> and I've gotten to go on it. No, I don't. <laughs> so yeah, we're well. talking with um, Paws. Pets are wonderful support. The pet texture is so difficult to say. You should have changed the name. No, it's a good name. Uh, it's coming up in April. You can go to the website, pawssf.org, to get more information.